Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, use this applet uh, and we're going to answer some questions uh, through exploration of a parabola. Uh, notice the applet has this parabola in red. There's a red parabola. Uh, it has the point F, the green point F is my focus. And then it has this horizontal blue line, uh, which is my directrix. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this. We're going to move the focus. We're going to move the directrix, and we're going to see uh, what happens to the shape of the parabola. Over on the left-hand side, uh, let me just describe what's happening here. Uh, here's the equation for my parabola, uh, and that's not really what we're going to talk about too much, um, other than I want you to notice that it really looks like the Pythagorean theorem, right? c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And we'll talk about that and explore why that is uh, in a minute. Uh, I want you to notice that down here I have my green point, a comma b. And uh, I have my b values and my a values are on sliders, so I can change those. And then I have my horizontal blue line, y equals c, that's my directrix, so I can change that as well. Now recognize that y equals some constant will always be a horizontal line, okay? As I move my directrix up and down, look what's happening to the parabola as I move the directrix, okay? Now, I can also move my uh, focus up and down. There it is going up and down, up and down here, right? Uh, move my focus around with that slider. I can move my focus side to side using this slider. Notice it changes my x value so it moves it side to side. Okay. Now we're going to answer some questions here. Here are the questions. What happens as the focus and the directrix move farther apart? So here's my focus, the green dot. Uh, if I want to move that farther away from my horizontal blue line, I need to move it up, right? And if I'm going to move it up, I need to change this y value. So I come over here, my y value is b, so I'm going to increase my y value, and look what happens. As this point moves up, what's happening to my parabola? Well, it looks like it's getting wider and wider and wider. As my point moves up, my parabola gets wider and wider. Okay, so we can answer this first question uh, as the distance increases, the distance between the directrix and the focus, as the distance increases, the parabola gets wider. Okay, now number two says we're going to try to make the parabola open downward, that is to look like a hill instead of a valley. What needs to be true? So if, notice as I move my focus upward uh, over here, I'm going to move my focus upward, it gets wider and wider and wider. As I move my focus down and get back to 2 comma 2, there it is. It's kind of normal looking. As I go down further, down, 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 look what's happening. My parabola is getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. What happens when my focus goes directly on the directrix? It turns into a straight line, right? So it's kind of getting skinny, 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 and then it's folded onto itself to make a straight vertical line. Now, as I keep moving it downward, look what happens. Now my parabola turns sort of inside out and opens down. So I've just turned it from a valley into a hill. How did that happen? Well, where was the point that it changed? It changed as soon as my focus got below the directrix. Okay, so the question number two to make this parabola open downward, what needs to happen? Uh, to make 
the parabola open down the focus must be below the directrix okay now the vertex of the parabola uh, is the lowest point on the curve if it opens upward or the highest point if it opens downward. Where is the vertex located in relationship to the focus and the directrix? So let's take a look here. Uh, we'll use this example where my focus is below the directrix. Uh, so let me put my focus directly on a point. We'll put it directly on negative two. Let's look at the distance between the focus and the vertex, that's the highest point on the parabola, and the directrix and the vertex. Notice that my vertex is right in the middle. Right in the middle. So that means that my, uh, my vertex has to be on the midpoint between the segment connecting the focus and the directrix. Okay, where is the vertex located in relationship to the focus and the directrix? Uh, the vertex is right in the middle. Or midpoint. of the segment connecting the uh, vertex and directrix. No, not the vertex, the focus and the directrix. Okay. All right, number four says, move the directrix to lie on the x-axis and move the focus to be the point 2, 2. So directrix is the x-axis here. We're going to move my focus up to be the point 2, 2. There it is, the point 2, 2. Now, what it's asking us to do is plot a point P with coordinate 6, 5. It should lie on the parabola. So I'm going to plot a point P, 6, 5. And I can do that by just selecting in the next block down, type in the point 6, 5. I'm going to include a label, and I want to label it point P. And there it is. Notice it's directly on my parabola. What is the distance between point P and the directrix? Okay, so from point P, see if I can zoom in here a little bit. From point P to the directrix, looks like it is, if I count the blocks here, well, let me zoom out. So if I count these blocks, one, two, three, four, Five. It's five units from point P to the directrix. So what does that tell us about the distance between point P and the focus? Well, if it's five units down to the directrix, if we think about our warm-up, it should also be five units to the focus. It should be five units. Now, how can we tell if it's five units? Well, let's get rid of this label. Okay, there's my point six comma five. If I want to find the distance between these two points, I can do that using the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem. So if I want to do the Pythagorean theorem, I have this right triangle that kind of goes like this. Here's F, my focus, 
2 comma 2. Here's point P, my point that's on the parabola at 6 comma 5. Now to, to find this distance, we'll call this length C, I can do Pythagorean theorem, right? I can do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I just need to know the distance between uh, uh, these horizontal and vertical distances. So notice the horizontal distance, this is an x value of 2. This is an x value of 6. 6 minus 2, that horizontal distance must be 4. On my vertical distances, notice this is a height of 5. This one is a height of 2. So this distance between here must be 3. So 3 squared, and that must equal whatever c squared is. So 16 plus 9 is c squared. 16 plus 9 is 25. Take the square root of both sides. Notice my distance between p and the focus is also five units.